Dear Sam of the year 2035, uh, first off, holy crap, you're alive. That's awesome. Well, I mean, I'm not sure. I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, your very existence and viewing of this letter and video defies my predictions. Since I currently anticipate impending universal destruction or a sweet romantic death, in fact, actually, if you're not, if, if Sam isn't alive right now, for those in the audience, um, I hope he died a great death. Um, something, I don't know, victorious, um, some sort of battle, or not a battle, but something, you know, something representing like a martyr, maybe. Um, so, uh, like, like I, I'd prefer some sort of death, like um, maybe I go out in my private sailboat and just one more time, you know, before the day ends and despite the coming storm and I never make it back, or maybe, um, maybe I might die as a result of my vices, like Kerouac and cirrhosis. Um, but Sam, since you know yourself even better than I currently do, you probably know I'll need to explain the creative process behind it, behind this letter. First, I considered just a simple brief hello, yet that couldn't work as this is a comprehensive one-way street of communication. And being so, since I can only talk to you and not vice versa, I need to be thoughtful, and second, I considered listing my current goals and accomplishments, maybe even nostalgically listing current news. Third, knowing this will be screened in front of a large group of friends, I seriously pondered just making this a funny, witty, clever message, designed to impress and invoke laughter, yet not, not much else. In the end, I decided to just write you honestly about what I'm thinking at this moment in time. Just as this letter and video exist as mementos of time traveling and self-preservation, so do you. We're all time travelers, and at this point in your life, you merely, you merely show the signs of wear and tear a bit more than I currently do. This direct line of communication defying notions of time and space is rare, a bit like looking into a mirror with a 25-year delay. But I do want to say something honestly to you. Although my constant self-deprecation on the surface, I do try to stay positive, and at 50 years old, I do hope you're proud of what you've done, but not satisfied. Discontent exists in the hearts of those whose work is never done, and although I can only speak from my 2010 perspective, I, ho I hope you're still just as unsatisfied and restless as I currently am. It's great to meet you, Sam, or the version of you that I currently am not, and great to be remembered accurately as I was through this document. Best of luck to you. Take care. Adventurously, Sam of the year 2010. Thanks.